Well, this storm brought widespread damage to many communities in the Hampton Roads area as it moved through. Anthony Sabella from our sister station in Norfolk filed this report. We're right here along Mill Street, just south of County Street, just southeast of downtown Suffolk. And take a look at this. You can see a tractor trailer blown clear across Mill Street here into some trees. And just beyond those trees, we see tree limbs on top of some houses here damaging some homes. And this is close to where there were reports of a possible tornado going through earlier this morning. You can see tree limbs down on power lines as well. And then if you look over here, just down the street right here, you can see a cab of a truck blown across the street as well. Some beyond that missing their shingles. So a lot of damage right here on Mill Street just southeast of downtown Suffolk. Certainly something that crews will be trying to clean up as the day goes on. But crews incredibly busy right now all around this area because there is so much damage being reported. We know that the city has opened up Kings Fork High School nearby in Kings Fork Road as an emergency shelter or last resort shelter for folks who have been displaced by this storm. They're asked to social distance and bring their masks as well. But an option for those folks who have no place to go right now. But again, a lot of damage right here in downtown Suffolk, uh, just southeast of downtown uh, on Mill Street uh, near County Street. We're of course going to continue following the storm and keep you updated. I'm Anthony Sabella. We'll send it back to you.